looks like they are hopping into the game though. So let's go ahead and head on over to the mulligan. And of course, the tank cluster, as we had mentioned, other decks were Bandal Pirates and Bandal Tree. But we're starting off with this uh, the Sentinel control up against Lee Sin. Yes, yes, let's go. Spicy decks in the last round of the day for people that could actually make the top cut. This is what I like to see, Boulevard. Wait a minute, is this thing, uh, is this card still called, so burgeoning, um, burgeoning Sentinel, right? That's the name of this card. I believe it's still called Demacian Sentinel on most websites because they changed its name yes. for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what is, why is burgeoning? Oh, wait, no, bur it's burgeoning now. It was the moss. Oh, I think because yeah. it didn't go with uh, the lore, I think is why they changed it. Probably. I mean, it's a Shadow Isle card. It's got Demasi in the name. It is a little confusing. Yeah. Well, I guess the idea was like, it was a Demasi and that was like resurrected or something maybe, but I don't think it. I don't I, think I, that's what Sentinels are. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm at the same point as everybody else where I'm learning actively about Legends of Runeterra and League of Legends lore, but want more of it, so <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I don't anyway, know. Anyway, it's burgeoning now. The deck it's still a sentinel. That's the important part, right? Yes, we call the sentinel, sentinel control because of the burgeoning sentinel and the Buru Sentinel. Alright, well we got double of them on field, so if we can get a slay off, we're gonna be in pretty good shape with a uh, nice nice little bit of attackers here. And that's the thing too, these sentinels, if you are able to get a lot of them down early, this deck can kind of pivot to be a little aggressive, especially versus something like uh like Lee Sin that we see here. so And that's the great thing about cards like this Burgeoning Sentinel. Not only can you uh, take sort of the aggressive route if you can get early removal, but it's also a great defensive tool, right? Where a, a one mana 3-3, three, three, that's as good as one drops get. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Plus it has Fearsome. Oh, man. Okay, that... wait. What? Why? All right, hold we're on. Just... We, 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 why? Why are we, we are this? not playing around with the Zoe. We want to deal it's seven dead. damage this turn. We don't want to see any nonsense about, oh, I can save it. No, no, you can't save well, it. Well, there Kill was it. a deny. We could have denied that. Yeah. Um, but we opted not to, I guess. Bless you. Bless you again. You I don't think more. Zoe's worth fighting over with the deny when you're playing against, like, a Vengeance deck and you're playing Lee Sin. Yeah. Uh, because as cool as Bastion is, it's a little bit easier for control decks to get through than deny because they can just vile feast after you Bastion. I wonder if uh, Tank was trying to bait out a deny, maybe, because I mean that's a pretty juicy deny when your opponent's committing that much mana. I mean, maybe that was the consideration, just a thought, but because otherwise, that's a. I mean, we could have Mystic shot it, in, so it's like. I just uh, think he didn't want the Zoe to stick around. Just wanted yeah. to guarantee the kill instead of having to play this twin discipline game again. Or double pale or something like that. Pale yeah. casket, you know, anything like that. Just no no fuss. I want the Zoe to die. I know that I'm probably never killing Lee Sin with thermogenic beams, so might as well kill the, the unit I care about. Because I don't I don't think Tank Buster really cares about these eyes. What a juicy withering whale potentially too. Um yeah, yeah, there we go. Now, this might get it. Honestly, I would not be surprised if this gets it tonight just because of how much pressure Tank's putting on right now. I mean, that's six more fearsome damage coming through next turn. Or maybe not. I mean, we're not dead. It's only six more damage. Cup is mine would be at six health remaining. So, yeah, we just let it go and say we'll try again next turn. Yeah. And I do want to mention, um, just because this interaction will pretty likely come up relatively soon... Uh, if Vi gets Will of Ionia, she goes back to two attack. Yeah. Yep. It's it's going to be a long ladder to Ooh. reclimb and one that Tank Buster's going to have to do. Another fearsome attacker here. I mean, unfortunately for, for Tank, Cup of Mind's got two Concussive Palms. So I think, you know, another consideration as to why we didn't deny last turn. We do have a lot of ways to, you know, stun these units and, and prevent some damage. But instead, going to go with the Vi. And now the Concussive Palm, yep, is going to come out. So we'll see if we get... We don't even really need a second one, honestly. Now we have a fearsome blocker, right? We take three damage. I think we're okay with that. Yeah, and we still have enough mana to get down the Lee Sin if that's the route that we want to go. Yeah. Not sure we could cleanly get two spells off next turn to get the eyes on the defensive turn, but do you really care about the eyes on the defensive turns here? Your opponent has a fearsome unit and a challenger unit. That's sort of what they're swinging in with. It doesn't. I don't think it really is a big concern of Cup is mine to get defensive eyes. You'd rather get them on the offense so that you can actually get the life steal. All right, Pale Cascade off the top here. And yeah, now we're just going to... We are beginning to pillar onto one of the Eye of the Dragons here. Going to make sure that she sticks around for a little while. Get That's another. also 7 out of 8 on the Lee Sin, yeah. so he will be coming down leveled up. 
Yeah, and pretty much all of the equation in hand as well. I mean, we have a deny. We have we'll have the level lease in. We have spells to activate, you know, barrier and challenger, and we have overwhelm. So uh, I'm pretty positive we're gonna get very close to having the full OTK come the next attack turn for Cup is mine. Yeah, and Tank Buster sort of running into the problem that a lot of PNZ Shadow Isle decks have where you do a great job of one for one but when your opponent is playing a bunch of plus ones, you eventually just start to get grinded out. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Cup is mine has a nearly full grip. Tank Buster is down to some lackluster removal spells. We finally get a Kindred, but Lee Sin is not a matchup where Kindred is going to shine. She's going to look as bad as ever here. Yep, Kindred is basically a 4-4 with Quick Attack. That's that's about what, what Kindred's going to do right now. Feels bad, but it is what it is. Um, and, you know, if we do decide to attack with everything, we could just attack with the Fearsome units, but that is still going to give a Spiderling, which one of the Dragonlings can block. Um, not looking great for Tank here. Not looking great at all. You know, this is where, you know, this this deck does want to be more of kind of like a late game control deck and versus something like Lee Sin, although it has the ability to go aggressive like we saw early game, you can see Lee Sin, I mean, this is a deck that just has way too many responses, right? The concussive bombs, the wills, the denies, They're, you know, two, three, even four or five fears of units is not going to be enough versus this deck. Whatever happened to miss rates, man? Big suck. Yeah, that's that's one way of putting it. <laughs> that's one way of putting it. I have such a way with words, huh? Yeah, 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 you really do. You really do. So so beautifully stated. Now we could mystic something here just for the sake of increasing the other burgeoning sentinel to three three. Not sure how worth it that is, but yep, we're gonna drain instead. Save that mystic shot. I feel like we've really wanted to save that mystic shot most of the game. Yeah, I think with how aggressively Buster has had to posture here, it's Skull really face. looking like it's going to be a burn finish. Yeah, yeah. I mean, assuming we can get something well, like a, a let me rephrase a that. This game is ninety five percent ending with a Lee Sin kick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if Buster's going to win, it's going to be a burn finish. Well, uh, I guess we're kind of hoping for I don't know a top deck atrocity. Is it even if we get something like an atrocity that deny has been chilling in hand the entire game, and Cup is mine has been really good about saving it for something that's required. And, yeah, oh, uh, the good, squad. <laughs> the good news is uh, Cup is mine doesn't have lethal with deny backup. In yeah. order to get Lee Sin to the ten attack necessary, we would need to Zenith Blade double pale and Sonic Wave Resonating Strike. Yep. Yep. Now, and so, that only leaves us with which, zero mana. Which might... All right, so if Cup is by can't end the game here, we have an officer in hand, Boulevard. That's right, an officer. And yeah. he's got a most wanted poster that might have Tank Buster's name written on it. So that card can actually be used on your opponent or yourself. For those of you who don't know, it's a five mana slow spell. You discard lowest cost card, you draw three. Uh, you choose basically either player to do that. And um, that could allow Tank Buster to refuel enough to maybe find the burn, right? To, to deal the rest of the damage, especially with how wide we are. I mean, we're, you got to think we're going to push at least a little bit more damage with the units on board as well. Yeah, and I, I think that's where Cup is Mine is starting to realize, like, hey, you know, I can kill one of these units, but if I do that, it's probably just getting replaced with another unit. And we are on, like, Ladros turn, yep. which is almost certainly going to be the scariest thing you could imagine. Now, if Cup is Mine does go for this lethal, uh, we know that Tank Buster doesn't actually have anything to stop it, mm -hmm. but it's you can't just tap down below Deny Mana going for this, right? So we are going to take out this uh, Kindred as well as the Spiderling. Yep. And... But that does leave five attackers for the Tank Buster. I don't think we're dying on the side of Cup is Mine because we do have this Will of Ionia and this Concussive Palm. Yep. But it's starting to get a little it's dicey. dicey. Yeah, it, it, this is this is rough. I don't see any. Please, I want to see the off. Yeah, there we go. Officer squad coming in hot. We can also play most wanted this turn if we want, which I don't see any reason not to at this point to kind of I, maximize. The, the reason game. not to is because you would lose your mystic shot. Uh, you're you're saying? Oh yeah. I mean, you're never gonna get into a spot I think where it's not mystic shot. I mean, because we already drew all of our burgeoning cycles, so, right? So the way that you get into that is you cast mystic shot. I mean, yeah. 
Like, you could just throw it at Cup is Mind's face here, try to swing out for lethal, and if it doesn't work, then you discard Ruination, because that is not a card you are casting this game. Okay, so this, all right, so to your point, this might be a better turn to do exactly that, right? Um, now we can play the Mystic Shot and discard the Grasp, which I think you're A-OK -okay discarding at this point. Because there's no world where we heal to a point where we're not going to be within lethal next turn from Lee Sin. So yeah, I, th I think I still think it's anybody's game. I think yeah. Tempuster can find lethal here mm -hmm. uh, with a couple of good draws from this most wanted. But Cup is mine should be able to survive this attack no problem. We still have a stun and a will, which I don't see any reason why both won't come out. Yeah, there's the spider as well. So we definitely get one what probably three damage coming through at this point. Yeah, I don't think you want to fall down to one. I think you do want to commit both the will and the concussive mm -hmm. palm. You still have nopified deny mana in case there is a burn spell coming out, which is what's going to make this so much harder for Tank Buster because I don't think there's get excited in this list. I think it's just Mystic Shot. No, you could confirm. the problem, yeah, it's Mystic Shot and Aftershock, which is the issue because Aftershock yeah. isn't stackable, which means if there's an open attack for the Lee Sin Win Con... There's really... Aftershock's just not going to help. So I think we actually are just looking for another Mystic Shot off the top here. Yep. So what Tank Buster can do is, you know, throw out this Mystic Shot. If it gets Nopified, maybe Most Wanted finds us a way to kill Lee Sin while Cup is Mine is only at 3 mana. Yeah. You know? I mean, we have, uh, we have this Ruination here that would still be in play. Let's see. I, I don't see any other... Well, we could play Most Wanted now that we have a burgeoning Sentinel and see what we draw first. That is also an option. Yeah. And... Do you, do you ever deny them? You can't deny Most Wanted, right? Like, oh, that's, that's... You just can't do that? Oh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I don't... Actually, I don't like that because we can't play the Most Wanted first. Because if that gets denied, then that's just game. Right, I mean, we, we play Ruination. We only have four mana left. Yeah, sure. Now we can. Now we leave ourselves open to a uh, Mystic Shot top deck because this one will get through. But Nopify is is there. So, yep. Okay, we're gonna do the Most Wanted first. I like this. I, I you know, generally speaking, as a rule of thumb in most card games, drawing first to see what you're gonna get is ooh two Atrocity ooh. and a Withering Mist. That might if we rip the Atrocity right now. And we get that we have to get the deny out. I think Tank Buster could win. Yeah. Oh, that's so close. Well, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we'll still have a four attack unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tank Buster. Tank Buster could take this next turn with the second atrocity. This has to be denied. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, my God. There's still, there's still outs for Cup is mine, but. T Buster's the one that has the lethal immediately available in hand. Deep Meditation could be Ooh. a deny. Could be a will of Ionia. And the it's Aftershock, though. Oh, Unless... my God. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. We're not, we're we're not okay. doing it. We're, we're, we're not not right. open no attacking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. We're going for the victory. And I am pretty positive. Unless we Deep Med into a deny... We've got Pale as well. We've got, yeah, we got Pale. Tankbuster's going to line up this atrocity. All right, we got three draws to find Deny. We have three draws to find Deny. Here's two. There's Gifts and Guiding Touch. Guiding Touch. Guiding Touch will oh, save it. We have the, guiding we have Touch the, saves the, us. Oh, wow. Guy. Guiding oh, touch my is God. Going to keep Cup is mine alive. Tankbuster's going to line up the Mystic Shot, but the Nopify is going to keep wow. Cup is mine alive and take this game number one over the Sentinel control. The Sentinel. Oh. Buster, I feel that one in my heart, buddy. What a absolutely earth shattering loss, Boulevard. That was crazy for Tank Buster. And for the type of deck that it is. I love to see Most Wanted used that way. It's so cool. It's it's kind of it basically is is accelerating you to that win condition towards the end of the game, which is okay. We have our opponent right where we want them. Now, how do we draw into that game-ending burn, i.e., double atrocity, like you just saw there? But not enough. Lee Sin just having far too many answers. Wow, that's crazy. What a game. Yeah. What a game. Round six. This is just round seven. Come on, everybody. This We're is not even in the top eight yet. Wow. Got plenty more action to bring you guys here today.
Now I'm kind of hoping we see this deck in the top eight, though. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not biased or anything, but you know. <laughs> oh, those are biased. No. I am never biased. I don't know what you're talking about. How did what am I do today? <laughs> what am uh, I didn't show up today no, too? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> not a great day for that. Like. All right, but now we got plunder. So let's see how this uh, Sentinel Control here does versus what's. I would. I'm not even gonna say arguably. It's it's probably the best deck of the format as it currently stands. Definitely the most popular. Yeah. All right, here we go. Some fearsome attackers here. We'll see if, yep, we're going to commit the, the Corsair to block. I, I actually like this block from C Cup is Mine, or maybe not. Because, again, Tank Buster could throw a lot of damage at the face of Cup is Mine a little too fast. So if we don't start committing some of these blocks, this, this one damage adds up. And there's there's no heal in Cup is Mine's Blunder deck. No. And not only does the damage add up, but just the amount of units that are on Buster's side of the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, yeah, This is so this is a big thing, right? You were going to have to sacrifice one of these Crackshot Corsairs anyway, or you're going to have to sacrifice some unit yeah. in order to get your Plunder procs for the turn. Yeah. An early Vi, too, I think is pretty big. It's it, Vi versus this board, and I think this is one of the reasons why maybe Tank Buster decided to bring a, a deck like this to this tournament. Vi with that tough and, and pretty high health of four... Uh, does a lot to deal with boards like this of the plunder decks where they have either two or one attack units. You can Ooh. usually trade with three units. Aftershock onto, or Thermobeam, whichever one, just to kill onto this Jagged Butcher, you're going to activate oh. both Sentinels, get us up to three attack on the Burgeoning and five wow. attack on the Buru. That's ten wow. fearsome damage coming through. Yeah. And unless Cup is Mine high rolls the Mirai Wardens, there's no fearsome blockers. We're going down to seven while our we opponent could. has two Aftershock in hand. Okay, I was just going to say, that Nab Mystic Shot saved our butt there, Boulevard. Yeah. That was a huge Still going to be seven nab. damage coming through. Yeah. And very importantly, this Boogaroo Sentinel just stares Gangplank dead in the eye. Yeah, that's crazy that this card can trade with Gangplank. I mean... Man, I'll tell you, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this deck. Even after that loss, I mean, that was a pretty crazy way to end the game, but I am really enjoying this deck. I feel like it's got a good shot to, to go all the way today. Oh, and a Ladros top deck. That is that is a sneaky card we will hang on to for later. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in my back pocket real quick. Yeah, and honestly, I think Gangplank has to come down here just as a fearsome blocker. Yep. Wow. And uh, which, we have Vi, which could theoretically trade. Yeah, so that's going to be another six, seven damage pushed into the Nexus with these fearsome units. Is Vi going to pull the Gangplank aside? Uh, not uh, too concerned with actually using the, uh, or, or rather, not too concerned with killing it because Withering Whale is likely to come out a little bit later on anyway. Yep. And either way, the Gangplank's going to trade. Uh, but this Vi, is also so. just lethal with Aftershock. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and just like that, in the blink of an eye, uh, we see Tank Buster seriously take care of this plunder deck. Wow. That was, that was quick. Lightning fast. That was insane. What a geez. This deck this deck is so interesting. I really like this Sentinel deck. Yeah, it's the it's the latest in a long line of it. I believe the most recent version is the Jace version. I don't think it looks insanely different from this. The main thing is the that Forge you're still playing tomorrow. the Sentinels, your number of kill spells, things and, of that nature. And Forge of Late Tomorrow. Late is there. Really, I really like Forge of Tomorrow in that build. Especially because it works works with uh, Jesus. I, it's been so long since I played the card, the uh, the Spider card. Elise? No. <laughs> Elise, no. Um, Jesus, uh, Brood Awakening. Brood Awakening. Holy, wow, yeah. yeah. God, it's like, now Now it can actually be good at six mana for something. <laughs> Instead of five. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> All right, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, maybe maybe good is too far. <laughs> yeah, so what we are looking at here, though, is an uphill battle for Buster. The reason that Plunder has taken over in such a big way, because for a while we were seeing both Gangplank decks rise to prominence in near equal fashion, the Bandle Pirates and the Plunder. But Plunder beats Vandal Pirates, and yeah. I think that is something that pushed Plunder over the edge to really make it gain the presence that it has. That said, this hand's not great for Cup is Mine. Yeah, and uh, I mean, the hand's not spectacular for Tank Buster, but two Twisted Fate could get a lot of work done, depending on how the next couple of turns go, so I don't think we hate it. A naked, jagged butcher. Not going to feel great, but you got to do what you got to do. And getting this damage through on this open attack isn't bad. Not to mention the Scrappy Bomb will go off on the next turn as well, so that takes care of our damage. We can play 
a, a different style with our twisted fate. We're not sort of forced to using red card to try and get our plunder proc as well. Uh, Tankbuster is going to have no problem leveling Gangplank, but they don't have a Gangplank. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, that's part of the equation, right? <laughs> leveling a champion doesn't matter unless you got it. There is three count them three Twisted Fates. I don't think there's ever a world where we try to actually level Twisted Fate with how much removal Cup is mine is usually so, playing. They, I mean, so you can say, yeah, we're never going to try to level Twisted Fate, but like drawing four cards just sounds good regardless of whether yeah, oh, Twisted yeah. Fate levels off of it. Yep, yep, yep. I, yep, I would yep. imagine we'll see at least one of these pick up cards used uh, maybe a little bit later on. I wouldn't be super surprised to see one fired off here as our turn five is looking pretty pitiful. Hidden Pathways changes out a little bit. Uh, it's not reduced cost, which feels bad, but... Yeah, one card away from that. Which, um... If you pick a card, does that proc Hidden Pathways because you are creating a champion in your deck? Mm, I'm gonna go with no on that one. I'm like... How mm, sure are you of that? I'm like 90% positive, I think. I feel like that is a little out there. But I guess we shall see in a second. Because I know that um when you draw the champion again that you used from a champion spell it is counted as a created card yeah that'd be interesting i guess we'll uh we'll see here if we actually get well it we're not gonna see here we're just gonna cast a five mana hidden pathways i guess yeah no love for the, <laughs> for the experimentation a eh, buster i mean maybe i don't know i you know i feel like you know i, I don't think we want to not bank two spell mana so i feel like if we do see pick a card it's gonna be next turn and honestly yeah probably are we, what are, this is going to be three draws going into the next turn for Twist of Fate? Because we didn't blue card, we gold carded. So um, we would be, if we do this going into our next turn, we would level up Twist of Fate if we play Bolt. Which, yes. which, could, be a, which could be a possibility. Yeah, if it survives. There's two make it rains in hand, but we are pretty wide. This might, this Twist of Fate might survive if Cup is Mine doesn't kind of read that, okay, I need to get it off the board this turn with the uh, Monster Harpoon here. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a world where you get Cup is Mine to tap below the Monster Harpoon mana, though. I'm pretty sure that it's it's still too risky to go for this Twisted Fate, especially because you are playing a deck that is a little bit heavier-handed in this Bandle Pirates. The chance, the chances that you can actually play every card you get off of these two pick of cards, it's pretty minimal, right? There's a lot of four drops in this deck. Yeah, just as you say that, we see Cup is Mine put out the Monkey Idol and leave just enough mana there for the reduced cost Monster Harpoon. Also leaving Tank Buster at four mana. So kind of an awkward situation for Tank Buster because if we play a pick a card, that might prompt Cup is Mine to play the Monster Harpoon. So we are going to play one. Now I'm interested to see a, if Cup is Mine plays it. A bold choice to shuffle away the the Dreadway on turn seven. Or going into turn seven, rather. Well, we'll see. We do have another Twisted Fate now with potentially a red card, which would be nice. Oh, there's a Hidden Pathways. Maybe it's reduced cost now, so maybe it did count. That's, that's no. the keg. Yeah, it's the keg that came out, so. Bollocks. Well, now we got two kegs and a potential really big red card. So <laughs> this is... <laughs> uh, I'm very curious to see what Cup is Mine does here. Are we just going to rip a... Yep. yep oh, we're just going to rip a make it rain. I'm, I'm yeah. curious... Ooh, we Does could that prompt double up. the double up because that would mean you can't play Hidden Pathways. Oh, we're getting Hidden Pathways first, and this will actually find us a Pokey Stick that we can utilize with the Keg. Okay. Which okay. I mean, now do we go face with that, or do we? Yeah. Do you kill a face. unit? It looks like face is the place. You know, we could have got Yordle Grifter there as well, but I think three damage to the face draw card is is probably pretty primo in this in this situation. Yeah. Probably pretty primo. I impress myself sometimes. That's good. My alliteration skills. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. Don't worry. It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so Cup is Mine, currently sitting on the two Dreadways, does have a very good Dreadway turn next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and Buster, just going in with the wide board, shuffled away their Dreadway, doesn't have that option anymore. But just trying to push as much damage as possible, which is going to be a fair amount, uh, in order to try and get this double up lethal to connect. Yeah, and I really like how Tank Buster's been playing this too. You know, kind of used, used pick a card, great. So I, you know, turned to the oh, three we're taking, fates. We're and taking the risky make it rain here, Doza. Well, it worked out the first time. When you have high RNG, why not? And... Uh, it's it's a okay. It's, it's not okay. a bad hit. It's okay. It kills a unit. Uh, doesn't hit the stone stacker like we were really hoping for, but 
Yeah, that could have been terrible. Uh, that was uh, that was actually one off of perfect because you know hitting the other units didn't matter. You just really wanted to kill the crack shot corsair. Might as well hit the nexus and kill the stone stacker. So, yeah. you know, overall, uh, pretty good. Make it rain for Cup is mine. Now we do have double dreadway in the hand of Cup is mine with double warning shot and a keg. Yeah, there's a lot but of we damage. Also have, we only have six nexus health left on the side of Cup is mine. Uh, so there is a theoretical lethal here with the red card, a high roll, make it rain, and this double up. It's not yeah. all going to happen in the same turn, um, but it is there. And I don't know. Ooh, this is... I, I think red card here yeah. does just sort of secure tank buster not dying. Yeah, yep. And it also does one more damage. So we are one damage away. And depending on if Cup is Mine sends in all the attackers here, that might set up for a guaranteed make it rain. All right, there's one warning shot. So it's going to make use of that keg. And even, I mean, even if the make it rain misses phase here, I mean, it's going to kill. It's going it, to, it, it's going into a pretty decent board and that's going to leave us an opportunity to go for attack. Yeah, I think Cup is mine. Sending both of these attackers in might shore things up for Tank Buster, maybe? I don't know because... Cup is mine mm -hmm. has this three sisters in hand, which can get a Sphere of the North mm -hmm. to negate the double up. And if that double up doesn't resolve, Tank Buster's not winning this game, unless they can find another very impactful out off the top of the deck. Yeah. Three sisters coming in clutch right there for that. So. Which, you know, we've we've only seen the the Feel the Rush recently. Cup is mine coming in saying, ah, I'm not about that Feel the Rush action. I'm still here for this three sisters. All right, so we also actually the playing a field of rush. Never mind, one field of rush, one three sisters. Ooh, okay, this is big though. Getting the dreadway down to one, and yeah, this is amazing for Tank Buster. We go super wide, and now dreadway has to block and will die. I think, yeah. Oh, and yeah. oh, FTR off the top is nothing. Yeah, this is just going to be lethal for Tank Buster. Yep, yeah. Tank Buster taking it here. If I imagine, yeah, what are we going to in? Okay, we're going to three we sisters. We technically live with flash, flash freeze. freeze, but that does mean we don't have the Fury of the North to stop yep. the double up. Yeah, we're taking, what, three here? We can just make it rain, and that's, yeah, yeah. that's game. Prompt another response out if they have it, and then double up. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be Tank Buster. Two impressive games. I mean, like you said, an unfavored match here, and then the other Sentinel control deck really impressing me, Boulevard. I'm very excited to see that in the top cut later.